Hello everybody. Today we're talking about how to get organized. So how to do your homework. I'm going to recommend each Monday go into each class's Schoology folder or week at a glance. Make a list of all the homework you have for the week. Keep it in your planner or an online template and I'm going to show you that. So I remember when we had classes people would say I would say write in your planner and you'd say when do I ever need to do that? Well this is a good reason why. So at the start of every Monday I take I look at 6th, 7th, and 8th graders the homework that they need to do and I write it down. With Schoology sometimes it's hard to tell what is homework and what is not. Okay so I'm going to show you how I do both. So I know for 7th graders your homework and everything you need to do is on week at a glance. So here is for this upcoming week. So if I was a seventh grader, I would, let's say Miss Carlson is my, uh, actually let's go to Miss Orion. Let's say Miss Orion is my math teacher. I would start by writing down, looking at this whole week and writing down what my homework is, okay? So I would be under Monday the 20th, because this is when, when you're going to do it, and I'm going to write down, okay, Unit 6, Unit 7, um, Theoretical Probability, Independent Dependent Variables, Find Odds and Probability. And I would write all that down. Um, so it would end up looking like this okay this one right here do the same thing with my ILA class with my US studies class science avid if you have it art FIED, whatever your other classes are I would go through and just write all of that now, if you're an 8th grader, I'm going to show you what 8th grade week at a glance looks like. Now, 8th grade, some of it is listed on week at a glance. Some of it is not, like for ILA. So, if yours are not on week at a glance, what would be a good habit to do is, let's get out of that. Um, I would go to all, see, here's all my classes. I would go to each of these classes and check on what I need to do. Sometimes it's going to be on your upcoming, sometimes it's not. It's not always going to be on your notifications either. You really need to go to the folder and check it out. So um, I see for Ms. Sherling, she does week weeks folders. So this folder is for this whole week. I do the same thing in my class. So I go in here and write down the different things that I need to do. And I'd write that in my planner. Okay. So once you get used to how your teacher does it, it'll start to be a little bit easier. So that is how you do that on paper. I'm going to show share with you a template for doing it on the computer. So here is your homework checklist template. You, so let's say I'm doing the same example. I'm a seventh grader. For math, I remember that my homework was unit six test, probability, and just type in all the things that I know I need to do, okay? Now, your homework for me with this is either you're going to fill in this template that I gave you, okay, with your homework for the week of April 20th to the 24th, or you're going to write it in your planner or on a notebook or a post-it, although I do not think this will be big enough for you. Um, and then take a picture with your phone and send it to me. You can send it via email or you can attach it. Um, you can attach it in this document. All right. Good luck getting organized and I will see you soon.